might have saw some footage from Rhode Island and you are looking at these cliffs here and you might think that I'm in Rhode Island, but I'm not in Rhode Island, I'm in New York. This is Montauk right by the lighthouse. It is extremely windy here, so I hope that you can hear me. But today, the purpose of coming here is, do I have my phone? Yes, the purpose of coming here is, um, I have a surprise coming soon. A surprise coming soon. This is unedited. Let me see if you can tell. Hopefully, so hopefully you saw what I, um, the photo, I'm gonna be, me and my wife are expecting a new baby. We have a 15 year old, we have a 16 year old, and now we're gonna have a newborn. But, um, you know, besides that, we came here to test the DJI FPV with the GoPro Hero 8. This is a, a great combination based on videos that I saw on YouTube, tons of video on YouTube, and also just watching Ken, original Dobo, fly this. Um, this past weekend in Rhode Island was also eye-opening for me because his footage came out really smooth with no vibration, zero to no vibration. But besides no vibration, his footage also came out very, very good in terms of color, clarity, highlights, shadows, all that good stuff. So this is the original Dobo helmet here. Um, this is the helmet that he sells in his store. And uh, he was kind enough to give me a set um, and I'm testing it out today. I am running it with the Hero 8. I do have a Hero 9 as well, but I see a lot of people recommend the Hero 8 um, for, the, for the DJI FPV because you're gonna save some grams between the Hero 8 and the Hero 9. Um, you're gonna save weight on that, but this, is, um, this seems to be a dynamic, um, a dynamic set here.
So I was just able to fly. I just finished my flight with the DJI FPV. I burned two batteries here um, in Montauk by these cliffs with the original Dobo hood helmet um, for the GoPro and the quad flew fantastic. I did see a little bit loss of power and sense on the throttle, right? Like if you wanna recover for something, you wanna punch, but that's expected because you are adding weight to the quad. But overall, no complaints. I am gonna throw some footage um, on this video. I did record both with an ND16. Um, both are shot in decent, well, decent alike. This is a flat color profile. I'm gonna add my colors. Um, the GoPro, of course, I am going to stabilize through real steady. And then the DJI FPV is gonna do its own stabilization from the quad. So let me know your thoughts, you know, which one you enjoyed better. Did you enjoy the DJI camera or did you enjoy the GoPro camera? This is like many other tests that you're found online, right? You're gonna, I think most people are gonna say that they enjoyed the GoPro footage versus the DJI footage. But the purpose of this video is that if you guys are on the fence um, and you don't know if you should attach the helmet that holds your GoPro, I do recommend it. I had zero issues. Again, a little bit loss of power, but zero issues overall. Um, the, the quad flew perfectly fine. It is very windy today, so I was fighting the wind even with this added weight, and I didn't see any loss of performance besides, again, a little bit loss of throttle because of the weight that you're carrying. I, I do caution and would recommend that you go do your research as to which helmet you would add to your DJI FPV. I know small rig makes one that I wouldn't personally attach because it's just a little band that goes right across so thin that I'm worried, you know, the vibration that's going to come across and I worry, you know, will the GoPro stay secure mounted? As you can see, this thing is fully secure and uh, you won't have any issues with the original Dobo hood for the DJI FPV.